In the solve it, signed numbers represent distance and direction. Sometimes only the size of a number, its absolute value, not the direction, is important. Take note, key concept about absolute value. The definition, the absolute value of a real number x written in these vertical bars, the absolute value symbols, so written the absolute value of x is its distance from zero on the number line. In terms of numbers, we can see the absolute value of four equals four, and the absolute value of negative four also equals four. With symbols, we can state if x is greater than or equal to zero, the absolute value of x just equals x. On the other hand, if x is less than zero, so a negative number, then the absolute value of x equals the negative of x, or x's opposite. An absolute value equation has a variable within the absolute value sign. For example, the absolute value of x equals five is an absolute value equation. The value of x can be five or negative five, since both the absolute value of five and the absolute value of negative five equal five. We can see that on the number line at the right. Both five and negative five are five units from zero on the number line. Since opposites have the same absolute value, an absolute value equation can have two solutions. Problem one, solving an absolute value equation. What are the solutions of the absolute value of two x minus one equals five? Graph the solutions. Well, here we've rewritten the absolute value equation, and then we rewrite it as two equations. 2x minus one, the value inside absolute value, could be five or negative five, because both of those have an absolute value of five. So we establish two equations. First, 2x minus one equals positive five, and 2x minus one equals negative five. And then we treat these equations separately and solve them independent of one another to find our two solutions. As we work the equation on the left with inverse operations, we get to two x equals six and x equals three. So that's one of our solutions for x that satisfies the equation above. On the right hand side, two x minus one equals negative five using inverse operations, two x equals negative four and x equals negative two, our second solution. But we can check these. First, substitute three in place of x in the original absolute value equation. Two times three minus one, when we applied the absolute value, does that equal five? Well, it's six minus one in absolute value symbols. That's five, and the absolute value of five is five. So the solution three works. Similarly, we can check the solution negative two and find that it also works, because the absolute value of negative five equals five. Your turn. What is the solution of the absolute value of three x plus two equals four? Graph the solution.